Another way of making a line, which was basically covered in my Eye for an Eye blog, is what I call working top down from the bottom up. And in this case, I'm going to slip a bigger piece of fabric underneath the edge that I want a line against. So let me show you. So here on this turtle, I've got a really nice little shape right here. And this is where two pieces of fabric are overlapping to, um, uh, to create or to help create this plate on the turtle shell. Um, as I have been creating this, there's a little bit of orange that's kind of popping through once in a while. So I'm going to accent that pretty little cut with a thin orange line. And the way I'm going to do that is taking a piece of orange and slipping it under that line. So you can see the line nicer here. I'm going to adjust this so it kind of covers from edge to edge. And then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue um, put glue on this um, the cut edge that I want my orange line to be attached to. So I'm going to do that. Let's put this on there. And I'm going to smear this a little bit with my fingers because I want that glue to be nicely on that edge. But I don't want a lot of glue. I don't want it to goop out from underneath it. So I can do that. And then I'm going to lay it back down so it attaches to the orange. So I'm, I've picked a, um, an edge that's on the top and I'm slipping a um, contrasting fabric under. So top down, bottom up, right? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, so now I can hold on to, I can now, um, it's not gonna move, so those two are attached and I can come along and make a nice little cut. Now, excuse me while I have to move this a little bit here to get it angled so I can cut it better. And I'm just going to follow my edge, kind of echo cut it. I can come back and do a, a finer little cut so I can just do a little bit to start. And I'm going to trim this away back here because I don't need that. I don't want that to show the, from the edge of the plate. I just want it to be on the inside. And so that squiggle needs a little more finesse, I think. I'm going to come up here and make it kind of narrow and a little wider, make it look pretty. And I can get a really, really fine line. If you see here, I'm going to taper it really fine. So it's just a tiny little edge. And it's a small little highlight that just helps pick up some of the color that's within the rest of the image. And that's another way of making a line on your, your fabric collage.